Now this may seem like a really random title for a video, but hear me out. It's one of those really random mornings where there's fog and it just, just doesn't want to clear up. It's already 10.30 and it's just hanging around. But anyway, tent pegs. When you buy a swag or a tent, you're probably going to have something like this come with it. One of these two. That one's about the same diameter as the little pin I used to get the SIM card out of my phone. That one's a little bit better. And then say you want something a bit more beefy, you might go to the camp shop and uh, you might get something like this. But I bet you've had this happen to you. Alright, let's put this gyro pin. Now, where did I put my hammer? There it is. What the heck? I haven't even hit you. If that hasn't happened to you, either you never go camping or you always camp on the beach or something because I don't know, I've bent that many tent pegs that are driving me nuts. Which is where today's story starts. So back in 2015, and I only know that because I just looked through my emails to find out when I ordered some, I found something awesome. I found a company called Superpeg. Now Super Peg are pretty well known for their sand pegs, which you can find at virtually almost any camp shop, BCF, getaways, all that kind of thing, Anaconda. There's other brands obviously, but Super Peg seem to be one of the most common. But nobody really seems to stock their steel peg. Now this steel peg is just fantastic. For one thing, it's got a chisel point at the end, so it goes through almost any kind of dirt. Also, another thing is, at the top of the peg, it's kinked up and around. Now, there's a couple of cool things about this. For one, when you hit it with the hammer, you're putting pressure directly on the axis of the shaft of the peg, if that makes sense. So, it's got less of a tendency to kind of bend. Another thing is, it's really quite thick steel. I'd say it's probably 8mm. Oh, and then another thing, as it's kinked there, when you put a gyro up in here, there's only that much that sticks out of the ground. So, this actually stops it from turning because you know what it's like with normal pegs. You have a gyro up on it, next thing it turns off, the gyro comes off, which is really quite annoying. Now, you may be wondering if I've ever managed to bend one of these. Well, I have, but not in the usual way. So we're camping out in the wheat belt with some friends and we stayed at this caravan park and it had the hardest ground I've ever seen. But anyway, nobody could get their tent pegs in. So mine virtually got sacrificed so that we could bang it in, take it back out, and then put their tent pegs back in. So as a result, the head kind of got a little bit mushed. But it's still good. It's amazing. I've never managed to actually bend a shaft like one of these. Now you may be thinking, how expensive is this fantastic technology? Well, it's actually, I think, about $2.70 to get one of these, which is pretty much the same as any other tent peg. So it's not like you're paying that much more, but they're just a fantastic product. And I've only managed to find them at one other place, except for Super Peg itself, which is Tent World. They seem to be the only one that stocked this awesome tent peg that's never bent yet, personally for me. If you've, if you've bent one, put, put it in the comments below because I don't know what you were doing, going into concrete or something. But anyway, awesome product. Maybe I should do some testing on it, eh? So, for a little bit of real world testing, I've got one of the better quality old tent pegs that I used to have. It's still got a chisel end on it. And I've got the super peg. This little bit of jar here will be a good test, hopefully. We'll see what happens. And there we go, she's starting to bend. Yep, yeah, she's gone. All right, so I'll just do this a little bit over from the other one. I don't really think I need to continue to this test to uh, 
show what's going to happen. <laughs> Mainly because I don't want to try and get this thing back out later. But anyway, <laughs> you can see that the super peg is still perfectly straight. It's going in really well. And as you can see, the other peg that still had a chisel point on it has just bent like a banana. Like you can really see how the design just works so well because you're putting direct pressure straight down on the tent peg. It's just awesome. So definitely highly recommend these super pegs. I've, everywhere I've used one, I've used them on really rocky kind of beaches by the river and they've been great. And they're not that much more expensive than a regular tent peg either. So definitely worth looking into if you're sick of bending tent pegs. But yeah, catch you guys around. I'm thinking my best bet is probably just to try and put the axe in there to get it out. Whose idea was this? Far out. Straight as an arrow.